wake up, it's the first of the month, and we got tier changes this month because it's October, it's been three months. So here we go, let's just drop into them. Obviously, biggest one, because everyone cares about OU, we're gonna do the rises first as per usual. You guys can already see the drop, so, but let's go ahead and get into the rises. So first of all, we got Zapdos. Zapdos is uh, not surprising at all, and with Kiram gone, it's probably pretty cemented and comfortable in the tier. Yu Yu, Oji Doji got back up there, which I kind of expected. I've been seeing a lot of Oji Doji lately in both Yu Yu and honestly in OU too. I wouldn't even be surprised if it eventually got to OU, but we'll keep an eye out on this one. Uh, Hoopa Unbound and Thunder Styrian got out of BL Hell and are officially Yu Yu now too, which is pretty cool. Um, Quag, Talon, and Umbreon all raised Rose to RU. Uh, Intellion got to NU officially now. PU had nine changes though, which is insane, but I think, or PU2 NU, excuse me, but I think that makes sense because I think NU had quite a few bans in the past three months, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I hope that's right. I hope I'm not spreading misinformation saying that, but yeah, that's that's a pretty big casting change, honestly. That's, that's a lot. For nine changes this late in the gen is pretty insane, honestly. And then we only got one ZU to NU. That's a crazy pipeline right there with Toxicroak. So I'm, I might have to try that one out. I do like the NU tier, so we might have to try that one out. And then there is no raises um, from ZU to PU. Um, drops, however. Drops are probably the more interesting one to follow because we've got a lot of them. We got five drops from OU to UU, which is pretty insane. We got Blissey, Claude, Heatran, Skarmory, Weavile. We're going to look at the stats here later in the video to see how how little these guys were used to drop down to UU. I'm a little surprised about Skarmory. I'm not surprised about Weavile. I'm a I'm I'm very surprised about Claude, Zyre, and Heatran. I'm very surprised about those two. And then I'm a little surprised about Blissey. Um, but Blissey 1 makes a little bit more sense to me than, than definitely than Claude's Iron Heatran. UU to RUBL, a Halucha has fallen. This is so sad, folks. Halucha's back down in the RUBL hell, I suppose. And then whether the gimmick guys of UU are down in RU now, which is crazy, which means that Mamo Swine is now the best <laughs> ice in RU. <laughs> All right, seriously, though, this is kind of crazy to see, um, especially given these three were OU pretty recently. Um, I mean, obviously they still have OU niches uh, because Ninetales is the best screen setter in the tier. Rabombi is the best web setter in the tier and Torkoal is the best sun setter in the tier. So it's just interesting seeing these guys all the way down in RU. We're going to have to do a video on these. We're also going to do a video on all five of these in UU. Honestly, I'm going to do that like as soon as I'm done uploading this one. So then we got RU to NUBL. We got Necrozma. Necrozma is down on its luck, I guess. Um, Quillfish over Quill. Not Quillfish, over Quill. Down in Inu, which that one's a little surprising to me, but I think Rain is in Inu. Or is Polyton in Oru now? I'm a terrible YouTuber. I don't know. And then we got Ndidi. Is that Ndidi Male? Oh my God, that's Ndidi Male. That's really tough to see. Down in PU, which is surprising because I, I still think Psy Spam is a decent strategy, especially in UU. Um, but, you know, I guess, I guess, I guess the tiers thought otherwise. And then we got five drops from PU to ZU. Brew Bonnet, which is crazy to see a Protosynthesis guy down in ZU. So we're going to have to try this guy out too here soon. Delphox is down in ZU. Frostlass down in ZU, which that one's kind of crazy to see. Um, Lycanroc, normal in ZU. And then Halu uh, not Halucha, wow, Hariyama is down in ZU. So let's take a quick look at the OU usage rates. Again, this is another raw reaction because honestly, this is the first time I'm looking at them. Um, these are just for September though. Keep that in mind. These are just for September. So that's why you see Blissey down here, um, even though it's down in UU now because Blissey was used enough in September, but because of the other months, it was not used enough. So that's why you're seeing Blissey here. And without further ado, let's look at the rest. Great Tusk, Reign Supreme once again uh, at the top of the tier. And then I guess we got two Great Tusk this generation. Um, Great Tusk and then Great Tusk. Uh, that's okay. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Honestly, it happens to me too. But anyway, we got Golden Go is three, Lando is four, Zom is five, Raging as six, which I think Raging Bolt usage is probably going to go up now that Kiram is gone. Uh, Slow King is seven, which is probably going to go down now that Kiram is gone. 
Iron Moth at 8. Iron Moth is a fun mod. I need to use that guy more often. Iron Moth is such a weird one. It was down in UU earlier in the gen, and now it's like comfortably top 10, which is just kind of insane to me. Um, Dragpole at number 9 and Iron Val at number 10. This is a crazy top 10 though, because the top this is probably the most like median top 10 I've seen of the generation. I mean, the, all of them are above 15% usage. Uh None of them are above 35% usage. I mean, that's a pretty tight window. Uh, probably the tightest we've seen this generation. Um, looking at the rest of this, though, that's standing out to me is Deoxys speed is... Sorry, wrong way. Deoxys speed is almost out, which is crazy to me. And it's probably not going to actually be out, but, you know, the fact that it's all the way down here. Iron Treads being comfortably in the tier is... Still kind of wild to me, given that it was UU earlier in the gen, but it may make sense. Uh, Ozerpin Wellspring over here is definitely going to raise in usage now that Kiram is gone. I would not be surprised if it gets suspected soon. And exact same to Gliscor. And honestly, exact same to Dragonite. Roaring Moon, yes, to a degree, but not really, because Roaring Moon is was always faster than Kiram. Um, so I don't really see Roaring Moon being affected as, as much as these three right here but i could definitely see it happening i think the biggest one that i'm that i'm obviously being suspenseful about is tankaton over at number 29 uh, tankaton is a great dark ride counter it also just has a ton of utility it breaks through hattering's magic bounce thanks to its mold breaker ability which means you can throw off thunder wave and stealth rock and on course completely free gigaton hammer has a lot of base power meaning you don't need to invest in your attack stat um, just a great Pokemon overall. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes to OU, especially if Darkrai is not suspected and banned in the next three months. So be on the lookout for the Tinkaton stocks in 2025. They're looking to be on the rise. Now let's look at the lower tier usage, lower tier plus Uber, because I'm not going to delve into these too much, but I'm always interested to see how the lower tiers are doing. Um, just because it's interesting to me and I, I do play the tiers um so i i, I uu especially i play art you uber sometimes um and i i know my boy rabia cares about the inu not that rabia watches me but you know the rabia enjoyers you probably care about the inu tier so i think the biggest thing that's stand out to me here um just at a quick glance is that zapdos is number four in usage in uu and now it's gone which is, should create somewhat of a vacuum i feel um Hoopa being at number 10, by the way, is crazy considering that it was RUBL. That's another thing that's standing out to me right now. That is crazy. It's like actually borderline insane. <laughs> like to go from BL to number 10 in usage in your tier is actually nuts. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at UU enough to know exactly why that's the case, but pretty crazy. Um the other thing that's standing out to me i don't see any mods that got banned or excuse me that uh that would have raised a tier that's going to leave a power vacuum um from what i can see uh taurus paltea aqua actually rose to in you if i remember correctly so that might leave a vacuum um i think rotom he might have rose too no rotom he did not raise that's misinformation um i think that's it yeah i think that's the only other vacuums that are left here um flygon is the biggest thing that stands out to me because other than ubers it is the most used pokemon across any tier um which is pretty cool to see flygon is a great guy so he deserves it all right let's look sorry to blind your eyes let's look at the usage based tiers i just want to look at o ou really that's the biggest thing i care about so um I just want to see this is this, yeah this is for all months by the way so this is why it's most interesting to me it's because i want to see who is close to getting cut off and meow was my biggest concern because i definitely thought meow was going to get knocked off the chopping block let me zoom in for you lovely folks at home um that's probably enough um yeah i think meow is probably the one that i thought i was most concerned about but it it was just about the cutoff you know who's just below the cutoff though freaking tinkaton man that is super close that's less than 0.1 of a percentage that's crazy tinkaton tinkaton stocks are on the rise folks please invest all right and now blissey claude and weavile all were pretty close but not close enough for bobby was actually closer than skarmory 
and then Heatran too. Heatran really fell off, man. That's insane. Um, Claw, uh, no, not, not Claw, sorry, but yeah, Rabombi. Uh, Sinistro is also a very good OU Pokemon right now. I would not be surprised if this one keeps coming on the rise up, especially now that Kirim is gone. That doesn't have to worry about pretty much any ice types, actually, because Weavile is gone too. So I could definitely see Sinistra, uh raising in the tier quite a bit. Um, Scizor and Torkoal also on the lookout. I don't think either of them will raise to OU, but yeah, just something to be on the lookout. And number 50 in the tier is Garchomp and also uh Osher pen is Osher pen regular wow uh is above is the last pokemon above three percent which is i think the cutoff of interesting versus poop so uh, i'm a little surprised that low kick is that low though i'll be honest i i figured low kicks would is on the rise and i'm a little surprised that it's that low but to each their own i guess so that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on the changes are down below. Is there anything you were surprised about? Anything you weren't surprised about? Oh, and also, we have hats on the way, folks. I don't know who this chick is, but she's totally rocking the welcome to the club hat. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to get a post up soon about that because um, I'm going to get those up soon. So be on the lookout. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.